once again welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i want us to explain example six of uh, shape and space six and uh, it is still under internally intersecting chords ap is equals to four and i believe they are centimeters ap is four centimeters and BP is uh, 3, BP is 3 centimeters, and CD is 8 centimeters. You can see the whole of CD is the one which is from this part of the circumference to this part of the circumference. The whole of the chord CD is 8 centimeters. We have not been given any other details. And then... The question states that find DP, find DP. If we say DP is X, we don't know. And because the whole chord CD should be 8, then CP should be 8 minus X. The whole of this one, the whole of now CP is 8 minus X. The reason why we have 8 minus x is because the whole chord CD is 8 and this part itself is x. So what remains should be the whole length minus what we have. And that is it. So in other words, we are simply looking for the value of x. Find dp. And that is actually our task. And according to internally intersecting chords, we know that CP, we know that CP times PD is equals to AP times PB. That's what we know. But what is CP? 8 minus X multiplied by X is equals to 4 times 3. 4 times 3. Because uh, AP is 4 and uh, PB is 3. In other words, if we now, we can now try to uh, open this bracket, we have 8x minus x squared is equals to 12. And it looks like what we are uh, going to have is a quadratic equation and let us help it be. And because the first term x squared is negative on this side, then we can take everything else on the right so that we have x squared minus 8x plus 12 is equals to 0. We have, taken, we have taken the whole of this part to the right-hand side, leaving 0 on this side, uh, minus 8x becoming positive, uh, minus x squared becoming positive x squared, and 8x becoming minus 8x, and 12 maintaining to be positive 12 because... It has not moved. And this is a quadratic equation. And I want to uh, believe that um, we know how to solve quadratic equation. But if we have forgotten, let us, uh, let us try to give it an approach. Um, the BAC approach. In other words, the general, a general quadratic equation is in the form AX squared plus BX plus c is equals to zero and uh, the bac approach what i call bac approach our b we can see it is negative eight our ac is one times 12 which is basically 12 and then we ask ourselves two very famous questions which two numbers do we add they give us a negative 8. And the same numbers, when we multiply them, they should give us a product of 12, which is AC. And I repeat the two questions again. Which are these two numbers? When added together, they will give us the value of B, which is negative 8. And at the same time, when the two numbers are multiplied together, they should give us the product of AC, which is 12. 
and it is very easy. These are negative 6 plus negative 2. They give us negative 8. At the same time, negative 6 times negative 2, they will give us they will give us positive 12 because negative times a negative gives us a positive number. What do we do at that point? At least having gotten those factors, we replace the middle term, that is B, and we rewrite it in terms of x squared minus 6x minus 2x plus 12 is equals to 0. We have not altered our question. We have just divided minus 8 into two factors. That is minus 6x minus 2x. And the reason for doing this is so that we can actually be able to factor out uh, common, common, the common terms in every two so that we can actually be, deal, be able to do the first two. What is common in the first two? x is common. x squared divided by x, we have x. Minus 6x divided by x is minus 6. Close the bracket. And then minus 2 is common here. Minus 2, open bracket. Minus 2x divided by minus 2, we have x. And now 12 divided by minus 2 is a minus 6. Close the bracket, which is equals to 0. Remember, these two brackets have to be identical. And the terms that are outside, they should make a bracket of their own. And then the repeated bracket, which is this one, should just be written once. And therefore, we have x minus 2, x minus 6 is equals to 0. Now, we have two brackets um, after... Uh, we have two brackets which are multiplied and the product is a zero. It goes without saying that it could be this bracket which is zero because if it, this is zero multiplied by anything, then the product still remains zero. It could also be that it is this bracket which is zero because zero times anything will also give us zero. It can also be both of them are zero because zero times zero is still zero. But let us just exhaust all those possibilities. Either it is, could be x minus 2 is the one which is zero. And if this is true, then x is equals to 2 centimeters. Or it is now the x minus 6, which is equals to zero. And if this is true, then x itself is equals to 6 centimeters and because both of them are positive values and we are talking about uh, distance or measurement of a line then they are both valid in other words pd could sometimes be two centimeters and when it is two centimeters then c p is six it can also be pd is six centimeters and when PD is 6 centimeters, then CP is 2 centimeters. And that is just like it. Thank you.